Hey! How the hell's everybody doing? I hope you're doing uh, wonderful. Just, just amazing. Fabulous. Better than ever. Uh, and for those of you that aren't, I hope whatever's troubling you, uh, you figure it out and, and things get better for you. Um, you know, especially this time of year, I know a lot of people deal with depression, anxiety, um, just just generally just being kind of down and feeling blah um, for any number of reasons. Maybe there's something around this time of year that makes you think of some tragedy was, was in your life. Or maybe you're just, you know, you're like me. Um, like me in a sense, you're single, which I'm single. And it actually doesn't bother me. Um, but I know for a lot of people, this time of year, you know, if they're single, then that has some bearing on it. Um, you know, and there's not a whole lot that can be done other than, you know, you try to weather the storm and reach out. You know, find somebody to talk to. There's always somebody out there that will be more than happy to just sit and listen. You just gotta, you might just have to look around a little bit. Find them. Whether it's a family member, whether it's a close friend, or whether you just you go out uh, for an evening and, and go down to your local pub or you know a, a, you know a restaurant that happens to you know serve drinks you decide you're going to go out and just have a beer or something like that just strike up a conversation with somebody you know, even a bartender uh, you know from what i found most of the time especially you know if they're not extremely busy if you got something you want to talk about, bartenders a lot of times are very good people. They'll just sit and they'll just listen. So, this time of year, if you're feeling down, don't do it alone and, and don't let yourself bring yourself down even lower. Uh, find somebody, reach out, and uh, get lifted. Get your spirits up. Okay? Excellent. What I have here is this box right here. It was originally a Leslie the Riveter, which I believe I have two of those in inventory right now. You'll find links down below to uh, well, information down below about my my business, the Ultra Garage, along with direct link to my Mercari store, Poshmark, or whatnot. I sell everything from obviously Funko Pops and collectibles, sports memorabilia, occasionally sporting goods, home goods, kitchen wares, um, and designer name brand apparel from the likes of Macy's, Neiman Marcus, Kohl's. All like new or brand new. Um, a small percentage of them are lightly used because there's stuff like, especially like t shirts that I. I pulled out of my own, you know, my own closet that's just full of t-shirts. Even now, half of them I, I, I never wear, or very sporadically. But I know there's a lot that if, if I were to get rid of them, then all of a sudden I'd want to wear those. So, what I have here in this big box that we are not doing it all in one video, no, 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 no. This is the first video in what will be a five video series, if you will consisting of technically three mystery boxes, but two of them are the same type of mystery box. So I got one mystery box, and then I got two of a different mystery box. But the big mystery box that I got is another 18 Funko Pop damaged slash overstock from Galactic Toys. While I was at it, I bought two of their six Funko Pop mystery boxes with a guaranteed chase. The overstock box was, let me pull up the invoice real quick. Um, I should still have it here, right here, somewhere close. Thought I did. Oh yeah, here it is. 
Although this might not have the actual prices on it. No, this doesn't have the prices on it. Let me see if I can pull up my actual the original invoice. I probably put it in my business folder. Oh, yep, right there. One on the top. Give it a second. Alright, the Funko Pop Mystery Box Damage Overstock. Vinyl Pigger 18 pack was $69.95, which is an incredible price. Even for Pops that might have a little bit of damage on them, that's an incredible price. It's like, what? I think I figured it up. It's like $6 and like 22 cents or something like that. Um, and then the Funko Pop Mystery Six Pack with one random limited edition chase. I bought two of them, and they were looks like twenty twenty eight ninety five a piece, which is not another great price for six Funko Pops with one of them being a chase. I mean, there's a good chance of, of getting decent value back. I would imagine, because it looks like those are ones that they have uh, most of the time. So I would imagine the chases are going to be like anything, you know, extremely valuable. But for $28.95, I mean, you can't beat it. All right, let me move this box down out of the way. Because it's a little bit too big to be having up there. And I don't know what's what. They're not like marked or labeled or anything. So. We'll just pull out the first box on the top. And we'll start there. So these. These videos might be in order of doing the 18 across three videos. And then the two boxes with the guaranteed chase as the last two videos. Or it might be sprinkled in between. I don't know. Originally, this box was Pop Marvel Monster Hunters Thanos. That wouldn't be a bad one to get. I got it upside down. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the premise that they put them in right side up. So I open it from the bottom, and I won't actually be able to see what I'm pulling out until I actually pull it out. Okay, yes. They are upside down. All right, looks like we've got five of them in no protectors. One of them's in a protector. Hmm. All right, well, let's just start. First one we got is from Tokyo Ghoul RE. We have Seiko Yoni Bayashi. Seiko Yonibayashi. I just got a a Tokyo Ghoul one in my last box. It was my anime box. That was a specialty series one. I'm actually holding on to that one um, for a little while because those specialty series ones tend to go up in value. Like every specialty series one that I've had and I've sold, like most recently I sold a Scooby Dumb one and I sold it for 40 bucks. I know I have a Gossamer over there that's a specialty series, and I think it's, last time I checked, its value was up around like 50 bucks or something like that. So, but yeah, I don't really collect anime, so that will be, I have heard of Tokyo Ghoul, so it can give me a little bit of credit there, I've heard of it. I haven't actually watched any of it, but that sounds like one that I would probably enjoy, just the fact that it's got Ghoul in the title. I'm guessing it maybe has some type of horror element to it. Correct me if I'm wrong down below, but and let me know if, if you know one of the streaming services that uh, Tokyo Ghoul is on that I could check it out. Right, I do have some streaming services. Next, oh, we've got the Maleficent from the Disney Villains. I literally just got this one too. Now, since I bought two of these boxes back to back, there's a good chance that a lot of the pops I get. Uh, I might already have gotten some of them in the last box, which will work out great if, if it's one of the ones that I kept 
because then I'll have one that I can get rid of. Like this one, I already kept the last one I got, so I won't need to keep this one. And as we get done, we'll look up we'll look up these six pops, and I'll keep a running total. So over over the course of the videos, we can keep a running total of how well I did. I think the first box of eighteen, I ended up getting like like two hundred twenty, or maybe it was two hundred seventy. I, I know it was over two hundred dollars back over the sixty nine ninety five that I paid. All right, next we do have Hannibal. This is another one that I got in the last box. Um, so far, just in general look, I believe these are all just overstock pops because I don't see I don't see any damage on them. So here we have the Hannibal Lecter from The Silence of the Lambs. I do collect horror pops, but I don't know, that one's I'm more along the lines of more like the actual like creatures and stuff like that. Next, we have got Aerie from My Hero Academia. This is a new one. I, I haven't gotten this one before. Let's check the box, see if this is an overstock or if it's damaged. I would say this is an overstock pull because I don't see any damage on it. I know My Hero Academia is a very popular um, series. That's another one I haven't I haven't watched, so I'll have to check that. Oh, we have another My Hero Academia. This is I know is an overstock pull because I got one of these in the last box. But we have Sir Night Eye from My Hero Academia. And the last one that is in a protector. It does have a it looks like aftermarket UPC code on the on the bottom of the protector. We have got okay, so this I'm guessing maybe this was one of the boxes of with a guaranteed chase. Alright? So of course I didn't know that until I just pulled this out. But yeah, here we have a Hunter Ron Chase. Again, Parks and Rec. That's <laughs> a show I haven't watched. I've had a number of people tell me I really should. Uh, this isn't a Galactic Toys soft protector. So I'm guessing that's their own um, UPC code they generate to put on you know, with their chase price. But I think I have two of these chases already in inventory. I have one of them listed on uh, Mercari right now. So this will I enter this in as a third one in inventory. Oh, got a visitor. She decided to come up and see what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. See? Don't lick it. It's not food. I mean, I'm almost tempted. To, if I got three of these, I'm almost tempted to keep one of them. Uh, I might. I might hold on to to one of these Hunter Ron chases. You know, and, and hold on to it and just keep tabs on, uh, you know, if maybe it eventually goes up in value. Uh, yeah, I think it will. Why not? Why not? We'll set that off and I'll just hold on to it. But these other ones, well, let's check value. All right. So this was, again, this was obviously one of the guaranteed chase boxes. Which would explain why the pops are always all in immaculate condition. We'll try using a Funko app. Let's just start with the the Hunter Ron. Oh, they have it. Hang on, I'm gonna have to take it out of this protector so I can actually scan the actual barcode on it. Figure out which way they have it in here. I might actually put this in a seven bucks a pop pop protector. I can put something else in this protector. Well, I can do that later, though. But here we go, the Hunter Ron Chase. So camera will focus. All right, hang on. I hate the map. 
Don't you hate it when your camera like gets something on it and then it don't want to focus? All right, Hunter Ron Chase is coming in at twenty-five dollars. And what I said, I paid for these boxes twenty twenty-eight ninety-five. So right there, I mean, we're doing pretty good as far as value. And again, these are in immaculate condition. I would put them at nine at ten, nine out of ten. I never, I never give anything a ten out of ten. Um, even if I say it's like mint. To me, that's still 9 out of 10 because the only way you can consider something 10 out of 10 is like if you get it as soon as it's come off the main, you know, the manufacturer's line. And as soon as it's, you know, boxed up and ready to, to ship out to a retailer. If you get it then, then I'd say, okay, yeah, then you got a 10 out of 10. But, yeah. Right, that one I'm going to hold on to. I already got two of them in the inventory. So we're at 25. Remember that. We're at 25. All right, here we go. We got Hannibal. It's $12. So that gives us 20, 37. That gives us 37. Sir Night Eye is 14. So we're at 37, 47, 51. Airy from My Hair Academia is 13, so that gives us what 64. Maleficent is 14, so we're at 78. And the Tokyo Ghouls, Saki, Yaman Yabaya, Wadaya, whatever, is 13, so we're at 78, 88. 92, right? You were adding up along with me, right? Yeah, no? Pretty sure it was $92 in value. So, I mean, you can look at it as basically a triple up as far as value. Oh, I was getting ready to put that back in the box again. Hold on to that one. All right, so, I'm gonna make room to set these down. Set these down here for now. I'm going to diligently work on getting pops listed and everything in Macari uh, this coming weekend. So if you're interested in any of those, they might be up as soon as this weekend. If not, they will definitely be up uh, over Christmas weekend. And those will all come in seven bucks a pop pop shield protectors when they. Well, actually, when I put them up on my shelves um, in my inventory room, which is down the hallway. Um, but do me a big favor. Make sure you check out Galactic Collectibles. As you can see, I mean, I'm very impressed with Galactic Collectibles. Um, I will continue to buy mystery boxes from them because they're definitely worth the money. Um, if you're not a subscriber to this channel, hey, why not? Why not? Um, I, I'm, occasionally I'm mildly entertaining and you know, you know even if you just watch it like one video today you know, one video per day for my channel it's only it's only 20 to 22 minutes out of your life you can spare that for me right for me come on hit that subscribe button notification bell so you know about all the other videos that are coming up and uh, check out all my stuff down below after you check out Galactic Collectibles, make sure you check out The Old Treasure Isle, which is my business. I do have a, kind of a marker business page on Facebook. My Macari, you'll find it directly to my Macari store down below. My username on Poshmark, username on whatnot. If I get enough followers on whatnot, I'm going to start doing auctions again. But I need followers because it don't warrant taking the hours to list stuff and, and get everything set up and get... You know, everything set up downstairs to do the auction and then only have like five or six people in the auction so help me out follow me on all my stuff down below and uh after you do all that and even while you're doing that look out for yourself and those around you so that we all have a much better chance at staying safe and healthy 
Till the next time, will the next box be one of the other chase boxes, or will it be a uh, start of the six damaged overstock boxes? Who knows? Stay tuned. Find out. See ya.